Now, just a few months ago, Andy Bashir was ahead in the polls, but now it is a dead heat. Bashir traveled across the state today, knocking on doors, encouraging people to get out and vote. Brad Underwood is live for us tonight in northern Kentucky with Bashir's final push. Hi, Brad. Well, hi, Kimmy. Yeah, Andy Brashear certainly made those rounds today, making stops in Paducah, Murray, Hopkinsville, Greenville, Franklin, Bowling Green, and ending the night in Louisville. And by his side for most of those door knocks today was his father and former governor, Steve Brashear, for those visits today. In Paducah, though, the campaign says Brashear knocked on its one millionth door. Today was about appreciation for Brashear, thanking the thousands who volunteered for him. All day, he stuck to his themes of improving public education, better paying jobs, and protecting health care and public pensions. Late tonight, he did make that final stop in Louisville to thank supporters after a six-day run through the Commonwealth. We have made over 38 stops, and out there we see a hunger, a hunger for change, a hunger for a governor that listens more than he talks, a hunger for a governor that solves more problems than he creates. Yeah. And a hunger for a governor that would never engage in bullying or name calling. Now, Brashear uh, ended that little visit, a short speech, promising uh, his supporters that if they gave him everything they had over these final hours before the election day, that he would give them everything he has for eight years, assuming he wins election and then gets reelected. Now, this election will certainly solve that feud between the two of lawsuits and executive orders that we've seen over the last few years. Reporting live tonight, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cammie. All right, Brad, thank you. And